Hello dear students, here I am Dr. Amjad Ali and in this video we are going to learn uh, the standard deviation of simple regression or standard error of simple regression, you can call it the standard error of estimate and uh, in this video we uh, will learn the, the formulation as well as uh, empirical uh, discussion of uh, standard error. Okay, let's uh, before the before discussion of the standard error, let's see the properties of the least square regression line. The least square regression line property, first one, the least square regression line uh, always goes through the point x bar and y bar, the mean value of the data. So we have a, if we have a two variable x and y, then uh, the, our estimated regression line always passes through the average value of x and y. Let's see if we have an example. Uh, um, a figure here that we have a x variable on x axis and y variable on y axis okay this is the mean value of y and this is the mean value of x so see here if our estimated regression line is passes through this point where uh, a mean value of x and mean value of y is equal to each other then our regression line is good fit if our regression line is not passes through this point then our regression line is buys and is not good fit so our estimated regression line is passed through through this point and we can call it a good uh, or uh, unbiased regression line. So here we have the estimated regression line. So keep it in mind that the regre estimated regression line always passes through the average value of y and average value of x. So <clears throat> here we have another discussion that uh, what, what you mean by the uh, lower part of the estimated regression line and what you mean by the upper part of the estimated regression line okay uh, the, the lower part of the estimated regression line is known as explained variation and while upper part of the estimation regression line is known as unexplained variation and we call it a uh, error term okay the second property of uh, <coughs> of the of the least here uh, regression line is that the sum of the deviation of the observed value of y i from the least square regression line is always equal to zero so keep it in mind that the uh, sum of error is equal to zero if sum of error is not is equal to zero then our regression line is not good fit or you can call it a, un, uh, uh, a biased regression line so for unbiased regression line your uh, sum of error must be equal to zero Okay, the sum of uh, square of the deviation of the observed value from the least square regression line is minimum. So keep it in mind that when you are taking the square of this regression line, it must be minimum. If it is increasing or, uh, or it's showing uh, any type of trend, then we can we can call it a, a, a bias regression or estimated regression line become bias regression. So uh, this is normally uh, known as residual sum of scare so uh, you can call it the error term sum of scare so this must be minimum for a good fit regression line okay one thing keep in mind that we have uh, estimated y uh, here with the a and b here a and b are our sample para parameters and these sample parameter will be uh, considered unbiased if they are representing our uh, population parameter a uh, uh, you can call it alpha and beta if they are not representing our uh, population parameter alpha and beta then our regression line become biased so far unbiased regression line or unbiased estimate estim, estimates are uh, a and b sample estimate uh, sample estimate must be true representative of our, our uh, population parameter alpha and beta Okay, uh, standard deviation of regression line uh, for, uh, of, uh, uh, of regression line or standard error of estimates. All of the observed values of the uh, of A and B do not fall on the, the regression line, but they scatter away. So see here we have a dependent variable x on x axis and y on y axis. So here we see that this is our estimated regression line. So see. Uh, uh, there are some points which are which are below the uh, estimated regression line which and some are above the estimated regression line okay if if all the points are not uh, uh, 
covered by the straight line and uh, there uh, there is difference between the estimated and actual uh, value this is uh, technically we call the standard deviation of regression so see here uh, the degree of scatterness of the observed value about the regression line is measured by the standard deviation of regression or you can you can simply call it a standard deviation it measures the variation of about the true regression line that is uh, summation y is equal to alpha plus beta x denoted by here uh, for the for the population case we can we can uh, read it a uh, uh, sigma uh, y x here we have a dependent variable <coughs> y and independent variable x so this is for the population case so for the population case r a formula for the standard error become as the summation y minus uh, y minus into a, a alpha plus beta x square divided by n so this is for for our uh, uh, population case but uh, uh, but in real life we are uh, mainly depend upon the sample studies so for the sample studies we have uh, a formula for the sample standard error here that uh, summation y minus y hat square divided by n minus 2 so keep it in mind that uh, for the population we have to divide uh, all number of observation but in in sample case we can use an uh, n minus 2 so keep it in mind that this estimated standard error will be true representative of population regression line then we can call our estimated this estimated regression line is unbiased okay standard uh, uh, standard deviation of, uh, uh, of uh, estimates or standard deviation of uh, 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 sample regression line this is the formula for the uh, for the sample uh, uh, standard error okay uh, for for this uh, uh, for the uh, for finding the value of standard error of regression line we have to first find the estimated y hat so for finding the estimated y hat you have to first find a and b value or uh, which is our uh, which is your estimated regression line so here we have to keep certain things in mind that this is actually unbiased reg regression line uh, because because this estimated uh, a standard error representing our population uh, standard error sigma y x the population standard error about the regression line so that's why this is our unbiased estimated regression line okay keep it in mind that the standard error of estimates the population standard uh, is actually representing the popul uh, the population standard error about the regression line so standard error of uh, estimate will be zero when all the observed value fall on the estimated regression line so, okay see here we have a uh, uh, estimated regression line here so see if all of the uh, uh, these points are below the uh, this estimated line then our standard error of uh, regression line is equal to zero but this uh, is a very rare case in our uh, actual data e either we are using the population case as well but okay let us let uh, discuss an interesting uh, case here that if you are using uh, uh, one standard deviation of error term one standard deviation of regression line then the estimated regression line covers 68 percent data and if you are using two standard uh, standard deviation of regression line then estimated <coughs> regression line covers 95.4 percent data and if you are using three standard deviation of uh, uh, regression line then 99.7 percent data will be covered by the estimated regression line so these are very interesting ranges for uh, for estimated y and standard error of regression line okay to find uh, summation y minus y hat you first have to calculate the estimated y hat so we can call it estimated y so we uh, first you have to find the estimated y hat with the help of observe or the true value of the x okay let's see the some simple derivation for the uh, formula of standard error here okay we have a summation y minus y hat scale is equal to summation y summation into y i minus a minus b x i whole square okay let's uh, uh, open the uh, right side whole square 
and we get this and after the solution of this we get this okay see here uh, we have multiply summation x with the whole and a uh, summation with the with this uh, and a is here common and the summation x with this and here b is a as a common okay uh, uh, in uh, our simple regression formulation we learn that uh, uh, with this equation we get two normal equation that first one is that and second one is that and these uh, uh, these two equation can be get uh, after taking the partial derivative of the of uh, these uh, this equation or this equation okay with the help of these normal equations we get uh, summation y minus y hat squared is equal to summation y square minus a summation y minus b summation x i y i so we get uh, the standard error of uh, of uh, regression line is summation y i square minus a summation y i minus uh, b summation x summation uh, summation x y divided by n minus 2 so let's see the empirical uh, evidence of finding the estimated regression line y hat and as well as the standard error of regression line so with the help of here we have uh, x is independent variable and y is dependent variable okay find the estimated y first we have to find estimated y and then show that the summation y minus y hat is equal to zero okay this is our error term technically this is our residual okay uh, the second uh, the second thing we have to find the compute the, the standard error of estimate that summation s y x y okay before uh, before going any further uh, uh, analysis we have to find find why what you mean by y hat y hat is uh, is come from when you uh, uh, when you get the uh, estimated a and b okay when you have the estimated a and b then we get estimated y hat so for this you have first find a and b estimated okay let we have a uh, y dependent variable and x independent variable and we have the formula of b and summation x uh, summation x y minus summation x summation y divided by n summation x square minus summation x whole square okay let's uh, see we have summation x and summation y here and we have to find summation x y and summation x square so let's first we find summation x uh, y we get it by multiplication multiplication of these and we get summation x y and now we take the square of uh, square of uh, x and we get this series and some of this series is uh, is 13 0 8 and now we put these summation into this formula we get b is equal to 2.831 now we have a formula for uh, finding a is equal to uh, y bar mean value minus b x bar or x mean value so for the x y mean value we have summation y minus uh, y divided by n so sum of the <coughs> sum of y is equal to this and divided by number of observation and we have two four six eight nine observations here so <coughs> by dividing uh, this we get uh, mean value of this and for mean value of our average value of x we have this formula and after getting the mean value of x and y we put it in here and b value is here we get a value is equal to 1.47 so keep it in mind that we get beta estimated and alpha estimated now we put uh, alpha, uh, a estimated and b estimated in our this equation then our y hat become as 1.47 y hat is equal to 1.47 plus 2.831 x okay now our main concern is find out y hat so this is y hat but y hat series is still uh, pending so we have to find the y hat series so we put it here y hat is equal to this and uh, and uh, putting the each value of x in this formula and we get the series of y hat this is our estimated y 
Okay, now see what is uh, the uh, requirement of the question. The question requirement is summation y minus y hat. We have to find the error term. So for finding the error term, we have to minus y from, uh, so, sorry, minus y is subtracted this. So y hat subtracted from y actual or true value. Okay, here we have y minus y hat and this is our error term and we are very well aware that the sum of uh, these observation, these lines, uh, these series is equal to zero. So see, uh, we have found that y hat and we found that summation y minus y hat is equal to zero. So uh, it is not exactly zero, but it is uh, 0.008. So we can uh, technically uh, uh, this type of answer is considered as uh, zero. Okay, now uh, our our ultimate objective to find the standard error of regression line. So standard error of regression line, we have the formula for the standard error of regression line, and we have some summations here. We we found it as here. So this is our error. So here. Uh, the, uh, in the standard error regression formula, we have summation y minus y hat square. So technically, this is called the residual sum of square, RSS. We, we pronounce it RSS. So see, we have to take the square of this series and we get this. So sum of uh, this series is 15.88168. Now we put this summation into the formula of standard error and we get this and okay see uh, we get the uh, standard error of regression line here that is 1.51 okay now we have an alternative method for finding the standard error of regression line which is more which is considered the more easiest method like we have a standard error uh, of sample regression line is equal to summation y is square minus a summation y minus b summation x y divided by n minus k whole under root okay uh, now see that we have uh, uh, summation y and uh, we don't have summation x y and uh, summation x, uh, y scale so we have to find the summation y scale so this is the summation y series and we get summation y scale and and after multiplying the summation x and y we get summation x and y okay now we have the all necessary summations now put the uh, required summation into the formula of uh, uh, standard error regression line and we get this and after the solution of uh, uh, this uh, formula and we get the value of the standard uh, error of regression line 1.52 okay it is around very close it is very 1.51 mm, so this is uh, the main uh, problem with this uh, with the statistic statistic that uh, with the same data when you are using different formula then uh, the uh, the outcome will be very uh, sometime little one and sometime very much different okay uh, the value of the standard error, uh, standard error show the degree of scatterness or dispersion of the observed value about the regression line. So this is the ultimate objective of our uh, of this video that we learn that how can we calculate the standard error and estimated y hat and uh, <coughs> and what what is the difference between the population standard error and and uh, uh, sample standard error. Okay, see you with another video. Ciao.